suppose that we've got a sequence of random variables that converges in distribution to x. Does this imply it converges in probability to x? Well, it doesn't, so we're going to provide a counterexample, in other words, uh, proof by counterexample. For I, my example, I'm going to take x to be continuous random variable with the support minus b to b and symmetric about 0. So here's what the PDF of it could look like. We define a sequence x of n to be linked to x as follows. It's going to be e same as x but uh, n is odd sequence and minus x when n is even. So it's xn, the sequence of xn is flipping back between these two random variables for odd and even. The claim is that it's going to converge in distribution to x. We we'll have to verify the definition that satisfies the definition, which is this in blue. So let's pick pick a, a x in our closed interval, and for consider that n is odd. Well, if n is odd, the CDF of the sequence computed at the point little x, by definition, is a way of writing this. But x of n, from the way we've set it up, is equal to the random variable x. So we replace this guy here by x. So finding the probability of this is the same as probability of this. But this is just another way of writing the CDF of x computed at point little x. Now if you look at this, for n is odd, it satisfies this. But now let n is even. For n is even, do the same thing. This time little, I mean x of n is equal to minus x. So it becomes this. Now I want to get it in terms of x, because we want to talk about f of x. So multiply through by minus 1, we have this. By symmetry, looking for this probability is the same as looking for this probability. Just look at the picture here. This is for this one, flip it over, this is for this one. And this is indeed the CDF of x computed at little x. Taken together, these two for odd and even shows like not only does fx n tend to um, tend to fx because it is actually equal to f of x for all little x. Okay, in our interval for x in uh, in our interval on the support. So we've done it. Now our claim is like it doesn't converge in probability to x. Right, so I get this difference of the random random variables to be this. How subtracted well I've subtracted random variable x from here. So minus x, minus x is zero, minus x is minus two x, i.e. this. I'm because I'm interested in this. Because of the definition of convergence probability is I'm interested in this difference here. So given that epsilon is bigger than zero, I'm gonna show that this probability does not converge to zero as n tends to infinity. Well, let's consider the even cases. Well, let's take n even. So let n equal to 2m, where m is integral 1, 2, and so on. So then x to the 2m is certainly even. We're looking at even cases and minus x. Well, this here is the same as this because for the even case, it's that. So the absolute value of this is the absolute value of that. Now we have to pick an epsilon bigger than zero. Well, let's pick it, say, b over 2. It doesn't matter so long as it's bigger than zero and within here. All right, so looking for this probability bigger than b over 2 is the same as looking for this guy bigger b over 2. OK, that, now there's not much to explain here. That is that because of this. Now, this is a step here. Look at this expression here. Does it tend to 0 as m tends to infinity? No, nope, because it, first of all, look, it doesn't even depend on m. So then we ask ourselves, well, does it equal to 0 as m for any m? And the answer is no, because look at the picture here. Here's the PDF. We're looking for the random variable of x here. We can value absolute value greater than b over 4. So if that's b, that's say b over 4. So looking for this area here and also this area here, which you can clearly see, which denotes probability and is clearly not 0. 
So we conclude that x of n, our sequence of random variables here, does not converge in probability to x, x being a symmetric distribution, symmetric about 0 on interval minus b to b. I don't know why I wrote a there. Okay. Okay, some comments then. Let's look back at here. You might be mystified to think, why did I pick b over 2? Because you might say, why not pick epsilon bigger than b? Because if I pick epsilon bigger than b, then I'm looking for the area here, which is 0, and the area outside here, which is 0, then you would claim, then you say, oh look, then if I pick epsilon bigger than b, then this will be equal to 0. Thus, xn tends in probability to x, you would say. But that doesn't work because it's got to work for any epsilon bigger than zero. So here I've just found an epsilon for which it does not work. Basically, you don't have to pick b over two. You can see, like, so long as it's within any within here, b zero, b zero to b. Sorry, it's going to be um, it's going to work. You can see, it's going to be non-zero area in this interval. Some of you may already know the result that if xn tends to distribution to a constant, then this implies it converges. Did I just let me start again? If it's to, if xn sequence of xn converges in distribution to a constant, then it converges in probability to a constant. Now that's different to what we've got up here because I didn't emphasize it because I want to make it simple. This reads the sequence of xn converges in distribution to some distribution of the random variable x and it's a proper random variable so it's not a constant that's how we look at this 